This panel here um, gives you your lighting. This, this is for the porch light that's outside. It's the yellow light that comes on. The awning light, which is the LED strip uh, just below the awning. And then the step, uh, which is that light right there, right down there. So um, this slide in, this slide out and in, um, that's for the um, slide here. So when you depress this button here, it takes just a second and that will begin to slide out. Make sure you're, um, you've got enough clearance uh, between that and the shore panel. And then if you just hold it back up, it will slide back in. Make sure that the floor is clean also before you slide it in so that there's no rocks that grab underneath there and ruin the floor. Of course, this button here retracts the awning or makes it go out. Um, when you're in the park and you're hooked up to the shore, you don't need to use the water pump. But if you're not hooked up to the shore and you need water, that's what that's for. Um, I would use, and while you're hooked up to shore, use the electric water heater. You can leave it on. Um, the tank heater, not necessary because it's not going to freeze. These buttons here show you how much battery you have, um, the level of fresh water that's in the tank. Right now there's none. I don't anticipate that you would need any in there if you're hooked up to the shore. Um, this shows the black water, that's the toilet, and then the gray water, which is the dish water and sink water. There's a button right above that vent. It's for the inverter. So when you're hooked up to shore, go ahead and click that on. What that's going to do is allow you to operate the microwave, all of the electric panels, all of the electric uh, outlets, the USB ports. There's also some USB ports uh, and a heater behind this panel here. Uh, so when this slide out goes out there, you'll see another panel um, that will have a couple of USB ports and it's also uh, this thermostat here is for the heater. There is a breaker panel below the refrigerator. I don't anticipate you'll need to use anything in there, but if, if you do, just press the top and this just comes down. So there's some breakers in there and it'll show you what it's what they're for. This little box right here on the left side of the trailer is your camp power. So that's where your 30 amp hookup goes. This here is when you flush the black water uh, out of the tank. You want to hook up the gray hose uh, to, to this right here. And the gray hose is, of course, going to hook up to the shore. Um, you can turn it on before you or when you... Uh, have the black water that's the black water um, discharge right there you simply pull it out and when you pull it out it will drain the black water from here make sure you're hooked up real tight before you do that and once the black water starts to drain uh, turn the shore pout or the shore uh, water on to let it flush the system through here. You only need to do that for maybe about five minutes while all the all the stuff comes out of the toilet and you'll see it turn uh, clear once that uh, is, is completely clean. This right here, same side, I'm still on the same side of the trailer, so this right here is where you hook up your water connection. So shore water, use the white hose shore water goes right here just all you, you don't have to unhook it you just put the hose there and tighten it down and uh, you wouldn't have a need to have anything in the fresh water tank that way it's going to come directly from uh, the shore these docking lights are handy um, if you have to dock or or um, 
do anything in the dark you just flip that on that flips on this uh, LED light panel there and it gives you enough light to do what you need to do there's also a light here um, on the on the hitch uh, jack so on the tongue jack um, there's propane under here you just lift this off here and you you can see how how to turn the propane on I don't think you'll need to use it unless you're you're gonna be cooking but um, feel free to do that